on Congress that we would have a budget. We have 12 separate spending bills. That didn't happen. We started that process at the at the very last minute. That's why we're in this situation today. And I will tell you, as a woman, I have been fighting for women's rights since before I ever came to Congress. And when Roe v. Wade was overturned, I continued that fight. And I've made deals with Kevin McCarthy, with the speaker, that he has not kept to help women in this country. And we have done nothing for them. And I come from South Carolina. When you shake my hand and you make a promise and you don't keep it, there are consequences to those actions. And as a woman, who has been fighting my party on this issue to be made promises that we're going to work to get women greater access to birth control and we don't do it and now we're 10 months in and we don't have time to do it or as a survivor of rape and i worked all year on a rape kit bill that hasn't seen the time of day i cannot tell you how frustrating that is as a woman in this conference in this capital to have that happen. Like, I, I, if you make a promise, you should keep it. And if you promise women you're gonna help them, then you damn well better do it. So as a fiscal conservative, I'm, I'm angry. As a woman, I am deeply frustrated. And I just, you know, that is the consequence of that behavior. And I want the American people to trust the speaker. When the speaker makes a promise to either side of the aisle, they ought to keep it. So for me, it's not left versus right because the speaker told told Democrats one thing and Republicans another. We're not going to agree on everything all the time. We're gonna have fights. We're gonna have disagreements, but we're all adults here and we can have that debate. Some sides will win, some sides will lose, but that debate is worthwhile. It's not worth misleading people. It's not worth misleading people on both sides of the aisle. For me, it's not ideological. It's about having a leader in our nation who will tell the truth who you can trust, and that's what the American people deserve. How do you know a new speaker will be any better? Should be the next speaker. You explain a lot of your concerns and hear them. How did you weigh all that against the other risk, which is to have Oh, I've been, chaos. well, I mean, the House was going to be in chaos if this did not happen. I am looking for a speaker who will tell the truth to the American people, who will be honest and trustworthy with Congress, with both parties. We are a deeply divided nation. We are a de deeply divided nation. Um, capital right now and we can't have we need people who are going to tell the truth we're going to be honest and who the american people can trust at the end of the day for me it's about it's about trust and don't make promises you can't keep and don't lie to me. would you support steve scalise for speaker was that would you support steve scalise for speaker I, I i am open to a number of, of folks up here we should ha we'll have that discussion and we'll figure out who will be the next speaker but from my perspective as a woman up here i want someone who's going to be honest and if we say we're going to help women in this country, we ought to do it. If we say we're going to rein in spending, if we say we're going to have a budget, now we're going to disagree on the numbers, both sides will, but that's worthy of a debate. If we say we're going to have a budget, we need to do it. If we say we're going to have 12 separate spending bills and give the power of spending back to the people, we ought to do it. But that's not what happened here. And that's why we're in the situation today. If, if he were to continue to be speaker, there would be chaos that would continue because he's not been honest with either party. What if he comes back and tries again? What if he tries again and again, talks with you, can he win you back? He might. We'll see what happens next. You represent him. Yeah, do you have any communication? What would it take? Well, no, the speaker decided to call my staff yesterday rather than call me. So I'm right here. I've always been here. He has my number. He knows how to get a hold of me. So what would it take for McCarthy to... Well, I, I'm looking for a speaker who will be honest with the American so people. You, you, rep you, you, you represent, you you represent a swing district. Are you concerned that this leadership crisis could hurt members like I, you? It could be in a difficult race next year. This is a debate worth having. For me, this is not ideological. This is not left versus right. This is not chaos. This is about finding leadership in this country who will be honest. The American people deserve the truth. They deserve someone they can trust. And that's what it should be about. We should be able to trust our leaders in this country. The reason we're in the place today, this whole country is chaos right now because we have leaders that have divided us and not brought us together. We want to be united, but we've got to have leadership that we can trust. You said